Leon, can you tell us just what this project is? Well, this is a project which Franklin describes in his autobiography, and the, par the part uh, in which he's in his 79th year, he looks back upon the young Franklin, age 22, who conceives this bold and arduous project of attaining moral perfection. He wanted to live without faults. He wanted to conquer what natural inclination or custom or bad company might lead him uh, into uh, off the straight and narrow. Uh, and he discovered that it was a lot harder to do this than he thought. This is a bold and arduous project. That has to be emphasized. To say it's arduous would suggest that it really is toilsome. Later on in the description, he uses the image of the garden and weeding. It's like weeding a garden, which suggests that it's not something that is being done for its own sake, but it, it's done for something else. But even more interesting, it's bold. Why is it bold? It's bold. Uh, the very title, The Project for Moral Perfection, has a Christian resonance to it. And I suspect it is he is identifying and clearly separating himself from the Christian tradition. Be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect, Matthew. He is has that in mind, but the assumption is utterly different. Human beings are not by nature sinful creatures or willfully evil creatures, but uh, human beings are just uh, are wayward because they have bad habits. Although, in a certain sense, for a Christian, this, pro this project might be a little bit easier because one would have the assistance of divine grace. Uh, one could uh, accomplish this through prayer. I mean, one reason this is so arduous is because it does rely entirely on Franklin's own efforts. Right. This is, this is a project of self-command um, by one's own self-exertions. Um, and the, this little uh, table for daily examination in which he gives himself bad black marks for when he, when, when he slips on each of the virtues, uh, um, he doesn't rely on anything beyond himself and his own self-criticism. He, he does leave himself without certain resources that are available to those who believe in the Christian revelation. Yeah. Uh, but in, in another sense, uh, it's also easier for him because what he finds is not sin, but errata. Uh, and as a printer himself, he knows that errata can be corrected.